Okay, next, I wanted to talk about the dabble part of double dabble. Okay, and so the goal here is to make our results show up in BCD, all right? Eventually, we want to represent a binary number from the switches or some register, and we want to be able to convert that to a BCD representation so that we can take that to, you know, the seven-segment decoders and end up showing what that result would be in decimal. All right, so uh, the dabble technique uh, applies and the overall goal here is we want to multiply digits zero through nine by two because of the doubling method and have the, and represent that result in binary coded decimal BCD. All right, so let's get started. All right, for the very first four numbers, zero through four, we don't have an issue that works out pretty easy because BCD and hex correspond for the first four of these. All right, so let's take the upper value of the range, which is four. All right, so four times two is eight. If I convert eight to hex, eight in hex is also BCD eight. So we're good, that's, and that's the biggest number in that interval, and so everything's gonna work out for all the numbers between zero and four. All right, so next, let's talk about uh, the range five through nine. And what I'm, again, what I'm trying to do is, I wanna take that number, double it, and then represent that answer, <coughs> that decimal answer in BCD. Okay, so let's get started. Five times two, in decimal, that's 10. All right, so the trick here for dabble, the dabble means that you're gonna take a look at the number that you're trying to convert. If that number is five or greater, you're gonna add three to it before you do the double, all right? So when I add three to that, five plus three is equal to eight, all right? And in other words, just you know, another explanation to think about, two times three is six. Right, and so what we wanna have happen is we wanna carry out into the next four digits. Anytime we get uh, a number that you know carries over in the decimal digits. So if I add six, you know, if I had 10, I added six, it would carry on over into the next four bits. All right, so that's the trick. They talk about that in the book if you'd like to read about it. But you'll see how it works. Five plus three is eight times two is 16 in decimal. All right, if I take 16 and I convert it to binary, in binary that would be this, and then notice this is BCD10. So that, that's the goal, BCD10 matches decimal 10. All right, so that's, that was the result of the dabble, okay? And so we can do the rest of these. Six times two is 12, all right? Six is greater than five, so I add three to it before I double. Six times three is 18, 18 in decimal turns out to be 16 plus two in hex, all right? And then if I convert that, you know, if I look at that as a BCD interpretation, that would be BCT, BCD 12, which, you know, that was my goal. I wanted this decimal multiplication to be represented in BCD. All right, so you can go through all the combinations, uh, seven times two, is 14, seven plus three, because seven is greater than five, or greater than four, greater than or equal to five, or greater than, strictly greater than four. So seven times three times two, seven plus three is 10, times two is 20. Convert that, 16 plus four, that's BCD 14. All right, so I've done the rest of these. You can take a look and convince yourself that this is, performing this statement, multiply digits zero through nine by two and represent the result in BCD. For the first four digits, zero through four, we don't have to do the add three trick. For things five through nine, we do have to do the add three trick. Okay, so next I want you to think about that in terms of a circuit, all right? Remember our goal, we've talked about this in class, is we want to be able to visualize how we do things you know, that maybe have a mathematical representation, how that ends up working out in circuits. 
All right, so uh, I know I have this add three circuit. All right, so the very first thing that I can highlight here, get a different color, let's do gold, is I put three to one of the inputs of the adder. All right, and then I have the, the number that I'm trying to represent. It's, you know, the idea here is these are um, the normal digits that we look at. All right, zero through nine. All right, so that's N. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and add these together no matter what, all right, and get um, this quantity that I call N plus 3, all right, and this will work for things in the range of, of 0 through 9, okay, so this signal is N plus 3, all right, then I, we've talked about in class a comparator circuit, so I'm going to compare n with 5, all right? And if n is bigger than 5, I'm going to put that into a multiplexer with the select line, okay? So if n is bigger than 5, we're going to select the path that has n plus 3, and that would go to the output, all right? If we had a smaller number, all right, so let me of that if we had a smaller number if we had if say for example n was equal to 3 okay then this signal coming out would be a 0 and we'd select the 0 line and n would go on through the output all right so you can envision the dabble circuit and we're going to put this all together in the next video to do uh, a double dabble algorithm